Hey guys, it's Jennifer Vegas by Brandon Ren, and if you want to see my 2012 summer favorites, stay tuned for more. Hey y'all, so I am finally back with another favorites video. Wow, I have slacked off big time. I, ha I had a blog post where I was tallying up my favorite, like, favorite products of the last couple of months and it started out with like May favorites and I turned it to May, June favorites and it was May, June, July and I was like okay I've not done a favorites video for like the last five months and I'm, I've never done regular fa favorites videos because it's kind of hard for me to do them regularly so I decided to just do a whole t like 2012 summer favorites and then just do my May, June, July, August favorites all in one and a lot of these products are specifically products I use during the summer so they really are summer favorites and you might have seen some of these before in favorites videos but they're really worth mentioning and some of them you probably have seen in tutorials because I've been doing more tutorials lately so let's go ahead and just jump right into it because there are a lot of products so I'm going to start off with hair products now my hair typically when I do it it's usually curled so I have a lot of curling stuff so first off, let me mention this. I've used this all the time. This is like my second bottle. It's a Tresemme Thermal Creations Heat Protection Spray. So um, a lot of people use this. It's really cheap. It smells good. And you can, it's just like, you get a lot of product and I have a lot of hair. So I use this every single time I do like any kind of heat treatment on my hair. So that's a really good find. For um, heat tools, I wanted to mention these. I, I've shown these in videos before, but I really use this a lot and it's the um, babyless pro nano titanium um, hot rollers i love this i like totally i really do use this a lot and a lot of times when i don't have a lot of time like to spend on my hair but i do have a little bit of time i'll just throw these in put um put them in do my makeup take them out and i'm good to go and i love how there are so many in here and different sizes and yeah so i use these all the time um, I also use this Hot Tools, I'm not sure how many inches this is, it's at least like an, I would say it's at least an inch and three fourths. It's a really big curling iron and I have been using curling iron since I first started doing my hair like back in the day when I was a kid because they're just, I love my hair curly, I don't usually flat iron my hair ever. Um, and I just feel comfortable with hot, um, with the curling irons and this one is awesome because I purposely went ahead and bought a big one because I've been using small ones or medium sized ones and if I want to like just really quickly curl my hair with this it'll take me like I can do my whole head in probably like seven minutes if I just do big sections and it's just really quick and easy and I get that nice little curled you know look and um, it's really good I got this at Sally Beauty for like 30 bucks so it's been doing well it has one of those non-tangle cords which I really like so I definitely recommend um, if you have a, a lot of, if, especially if you have long, thick hair like I do, and you don't have time to do it, just get a really big curling iron, and it'll cut your time in half. So now to finish off, I a lot of you will have heard of it. It's the L'Oreal L Knit Satin Hairspray. When I bought this several months ago, I probably bought this maybe six, eight months ago. It really changed my life because I was using whatever hairspray. And when you use um, like a, a stronghold hairspray with um, curls and you try to fix it, it just jacks it up because it gets crunchy and then your curls can go limp. So this is like a really flexible hold. You can actually spray it when you curl your hair and then brush out your curls and it still like moves. It's still like wavy and um, not all crimped up and it's like the best hairspray I've ever used for that for like a more of a curly movable look, not for like stronghold like you slick your hair back. So this is actually the unscented version, thank goodness, because I don't like scented. I heard that the scented one um, it smells kind of like really strong perfume. So I love this hairspray, it's a definite must have. And now you can get this at any drugstore. Before it was like, Elnet was never even available in the US and now as of a year or so ago they are. So that's really great. Okay, so that's it for hair. Let's move on to the face. So now, I know that a lot of people have really been complimenting my skin lately, and I really, and it's probably because of the nice camera and lights. So, but I have been paying um, close attention to my skin, 
and I wanted to show you some of the products that I can attribute to um, getting my skin to the best the best thing possible. So first is MAC Mineralized Charged Water. Look how much I've used. When I spray this on, I spray it on. <laughs> like I spray like six sprays. And my skin is very dry and sensitive as I've mentioned many times before. So a lot of times I need extra moisturize, extra moisture and I would keep this at, at work and I would just spray it in in the afternoons to kind of recharge my skin. It's a lot, and I would say that this is more moisturizing than Max Fix Plus. Um, it's not really a makeup setting spray, it's more of like a, a moisturizer and you can use it to set your makeup if you want, but I use it just to kind of like, I'll spray it just to refresh it and I'll spray this on even before I put makeup just to kind of get my skin that dewy um, feel so that way things glide on smoothly. And I'll use this also to wet my brushes, like a foundation brush and then apply um, my foundation. Um, yeah, so it's, I, at first I wasn't sure about it because I wasn't sure about the smell. I didn't know if it was really doing anything, but I really, really like it. So, really recommend that. Um, I'm also using the Jolique Herbal Recovery Gel. Now this is why probably my skin looks really healthy in the last couple months. I've been using this for about three months now. Um, it was sent to me with a set of items which I already reviewed on my blog a month ago. So it's definitely worth mentioning in a favorite because my skin, I can tell a difference. It's a lot more glowy. It just feels softer. Um, it's really, it feels just like it looks, it kind of looks better. Like I don't have as much like weird blotchiness or anything going on. And the Jolique, the whole line is great, but in particular this herbal recovery gel is kind of like a serum that I apply right after I wash my face before moisturizer. And I feel like this kind of gives me a more, like it blurs out all the imperfections and it gives me that extra moisturizer I need. So at first I wasn't sure too because this had a more of a rosy smell and I, I don't like floral smells, but I actually like it now. So um, if you're looking for a nice intense moisturizing serum that will kind of repair and just like make your skin look better, I recommend the Jolique Herbal Recovery Gel. And I actually looked on their website and this is actually one of their most popular products and I'm almost out and it's by, actually looks, it's an Australian brand. So yeah, really, really good. Okay, um, let's talk about some other um, face products. Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray. I, <laughs> this is the old bottle. I use this every single time I do like a full face look, like today. I use it at the end of makeup. I used to use Fix Plus, but I find that this is does the same thing as Fix Plus in that it kind of takes away that powdery look, kind of just makes your skin look dewy, but it also has like makeup finishing spray qualities and that it makes your, your makeup last a little longer, where I feel like Fix Plus like kind of like gets away of that powdery look and it makes your skin look nice, but I don't really know if it really does anything to set it. So I've, what I do is I have a big bottle and I just keep on refilling this and I've gone through it so much because I use it every single time I do my makeup. And I've never really mentioned this as a favorite and it definitely deserves it. So I use the original Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray every single time I do the makeup at the end and it really makes a difference. So um, let's see, more skincare. So this, I don't think I've ever mentioned this as a favorite, but I've been using it for a really long time and it's a good amount has been used. It's the NYX Photo Living Primer. Um, it's the purple one, so it's anti-dull skin, skin brilliance. And this is the only primer I use on myself. I have a ton of different ones. I don't use this in my kit. It's just my personal favorite. I don't know what it is about it. I have the clear version. I just like the purple version. I just feel like it makes my skin like it feels good on my skin. It's kind of like a silicone texture. I think the purple though makes, does brighten it up and it just feels good on my skin. It kind of blocks out pores. I like it, I like it a lot and it's NYX so it's affordable. Another affordable skincare product which I've been loving and I'm actually wearing it today is the Sonia Kashuk um, Radiant Tinted Moisturizer and it's in tan. And I know that a lot of people have been using this lately, I think. I first heard about it from Rachel D or Rachel Moreno, and then I know that Makeup by Lena maybe uses it, and I love it. Um, tan is a really, really good match for me. Like it's just brown, it's brown and yellow enough to kind of fit my skin tone. I'm wearing it today, and the way I apply it, I actually like to apply it as a um, full cover. I'll use like a small flat top brush like this, this is by Glamcore. You'll see me do this in a couple videos. I'll just like spray it to kind of just get it 
more emollient and then I'll apply it and it, it's a nice amount almost I would say I almost get light to I can get light to medium coverage and for my skin type it, that's good I like that and it leaves me with a dewy finish and it's really really good so I've tried a lot of tinted moisturizers in the past this is great because I finally have found one that's drugstore and I love it it's really really good I am without NC4243 and tan is my perfect shade so I definitely recommend this Okay, um, another um, skincare product which I've been loving lately is the Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes by Neutrogena. And this is specifically the night calming one. So I'm almost done. I only have like two more in here, but this is like my second pack. And I, this is like my second pack. And I actually really, really like these. I, I know everybody used to talk about Neutrogena whites. I never really understood the hype. But I really like this. Like it, this is a night calming one specifically. It just smells to me like the Jergens, or not the Jergens, the Johnson and Johnson baby products. It just smells so good, and it has. It's very moist the towelette, and it really does get a lot of your makeup off. It you could see it coming off, unlike some wipes where it's just kind of not really getting everything, you have to scrub it. This really gets it off. It smells amazing. I actually just, um, I only use this at night when I have the full face makeup on and I need to like take it off. I'll use this all over my eyes, face, lips, everywhere. It's really, really good. Um, I'll definitely be repurchasing as soon as this is done. And okay, this is the last skincare product. Everything else is kind of makeup. Um, this is the MAC Prep and Prime Skin Refined Zone Treatment. This is, I feel like this might be limited edition and it's kind of old. But I, I rediscovered it in the last month or so. And my problem area on my face is my nose. I have really huge pores and they're like, you know, like blackheads and stuff on my nose. And I hate it. And this actually really does blur them so they look a lot more smaller. And it's, it's not like a primer like where it fills it in. It literally like blurs it. I'll show you what it looks like. It's this little squeeze tube. And it's kind of like a lotion-y type of thing. And it feels like it, it does have a little bit of silicone, but I don't know, it really does blur it. And I use it now every time I do my makeup. And I know it's a huge difference, especially when I take the picture shots. And I can see that my nose looks more, like it's not huge pores. So this is really good. I don't know if it's, I, I feel like it was part of a limited edition collection. I hope that I can find it again, but if you happen to have this lying around, you need to try it again if you have big pores like me. So I really love that. Okay, whew. Let's move to makeup. So I guess I could just start, let's just start with the eyes. I don't have as many eye products. Um, you've seen this before. It's the Anastasia Eyeshadow Duo is, um, on set. Love it. This is gorgeous. This is like, these colors are just my kind of colors. I just love this. I kind of have a color similar to it on. It's not the exact color, but this color here, it's kind of like a pinky, peachy, sh um, metallic. That is my go-to kind of color. And these, the Anastasia eyeshadows are really, really good. I don't, I know they're known for brow products, but I've never been disappointed with the Anastasia eyeshadows. The colors are so pretty and like really pigmented and they're really, really smooth. Look at that. Oh my God. So pretty. This is like my favorite eyeshadow duo ever in the world. And I love it. And you can just pop the lighter color on the lid, and this in the crease, and then the outer V, and that's it. And it gives you that bronze goddess look. So I really, really love that. So I have I have um, lip color swatches from a Makeup Forever event I went to earlier. Okay, another eye product, which I think is worth mentioning, is Wet n Wild's um, Gel Liner in Black. And I got this because Beat Face Honey Tatiana Ward on YouTube loves this. And it's actually, it was so cheap, um, it's got to be under $3, and I don't always use gel liner, but I've been trying to use it more, and it's actually pretty damn good, especially for such a cheap price. So I think that if you're looking for a cheap gel liner, it's worth looking into. The next gel liner I do, with, I would like to try though, is the Inglot gel liner. I don't have any Inglot products because I've just never had a chance to get them from a makeup show. I'm always working like at the New York makeup show, and... One of these days I will get my hands on it. Anyways, <laughs> okay. This product is Bourgeois Intense Eyeshadow in number, I think it's 08. I'm not sure what color it is, 
but it's this really gorgeous brown shimmery metallic and I mentioned I love that peachy um, pinky metallic shimmer on my eyes this is also like my favorite kind of shadow and it's Again, it kind of looks like I, I am wearing this. I'm wearing this today on my outer V. I just love this shadow for contouring and giving you a really warm look to the eye. It's just so great. Like, it's just really pigmented and it gives, like, I love warm tone browns personally and it's nice, really nice. Okay, I have been wearing the Stardell number 43 lashes, which would be the same in Red Cherry or any other brand. I've been wearing these like all summer long. I'm actually wearing a different lash, um, these girls allowed lashes that I'm testing out. But this is my go-to lash. It's wispy, it's kind of like um, the Ardell wispy lashes. It's thick enough, it's full enough, and then you can actually see it on my eye. So this is definitely my go-to lash. I got this in bulk from rockytrading.com. If you want to know more about that, I have tons of videos on false lash hauls. And every single time you see that video, it's definitely because I bought it in bulk from that wholesale site. So number 43 lash is my friend. And every time I do my false lashes, I've mentioned this so many times before, I have to use my um, Preo um, Individual Lash Curler from Alcone Company. I'm actually even in their catalog with a picture next to this lash curler because it's my favorite. It's a necessity. I use it myself on my clients to pinch the false lashes and relashes lashes together to lift a droopy lash. Like, it's just awesome. And the last, technically, eye product um, is this. This is a Tarte Emphasize Waterproof Amazonian Clay Brown Mousse in Medium Brown. Now, y'all know this is my HG, or HG um, Brow Liner. This is a Tarte Emphasize Brow Pencil, Medium Brown. Okay? I've used this for the last one and a half years straight, I bought like four of them. So this is my like holy grail eyebrow pencil. I'm actually used, I use a little bit today. Okay, I was looking at the chart friends and family sale maybe a month ago, month and a half ago I would say, and they, I was like, wait a second, Tarte um, Brown Mousse, and I was like, and it's in the shade Medium Brown, which is the shade in a pencil. And that's one of the reasons why I also really like the pencil is because the shade is a really good shade for me. Not to mention that the texture and the consistency is really good. So then I saw this little tiny, it looks like a tiny gel liner. And it's really good. It's so good. And it's tiny. You don't need a lot. What I do is I'll just take my angled brush and I'll just touch it. Like I'll go like this. I don't even like go like that like it's a gel liner. I just kind of touch it. And then I'll make little my little strokes. And it's a really nice alternative to using pencils and um, pencils and brow powders. Like this, and this color is really good. And I noticed that it lasts longer than a typical pencil would. It's really good. I love it a lot. I'm really happy I got it. I mean, this is. I've been using this a lot lately. When I was in Europe, I used this every single time because I knew my brows were gonna stay all day. So I love, love, love that. So definitely check that out if you're interested in trying something new with brows. I know we all, a lot of us are obsessed with brow products and that's definitely one worth checking out. Okay, so let's move on to some face products. Um, one of my favorite Holy Grail items is Max Blunt Blush. And a lot of people use it, Kenny Johnson, it's like a favorite of so many people. And I started using this, I don't know, maybe like six, eight months ago. And ever since then, I have not gone back. I just prefer a warmer contour powder. Um, personally, I just feel like on my tan skin, it suits me better than more of a grayish, um, shadowy color, which they say to use on contour. But for me, I love it. It just gives me a nice tan. This is my HG um, personal contour color. And I recently just added it to my kit as well. So I'm so glad I finally discovered that. Another Holy Grail product of mine is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish and Soft and Gentle. This is such a gorgeous, gorgeous like highlight, shimmery highlight. I've been using this for like the last two years. It's my go-to highlight. I mean, it's just gorgeous on, I would say up to tan skin tones like mine because it is kind of like a pearly um, pinky sheen. So um, yeah, it's just so beautiful though. I mean, it's totally worth checking out. I mean, a lot of people love it. 
also to kind of mix things up over the last um year i've been kind of using this and especially using it in the summer it's mac mineralized skin finish and cheeky bronze i actually bought it a really long time ago then um um, Marissa from like Rissa Rose too did a video using it and I'm like I have that product pulled it out and I was like I really love it it's just like a really bronzy pinky bronzy glow what I do is I actually put it a little bit over a blush and then I'll put this um, as my highlight on my cheekbone and it gives me the perfect like combination of like glowy goddess look so I really love that um, I'm just going to throw this in there because I've been using this a lot more recently. I kind of gave it a break for a year. I'm back on it and it's the MAC Bernoulli Skin Finish Natural and Medium Dark. This is, this is just a classic product for me. I've used it for a long time, like three, four years. And it's just the perfect color to set my foundation without it being cakey because it has like a glow to it. So I love this. I love, love it. I'm actually wearing it. Um, on top of my um, tinted moisturizer. Another thing worth mentioning, I mean, these are a lot of my like holy grail products. Another one is Ben Nye Banana Powder. Using this for years, I don't think I've ever mentioned in a favorites video. It just gives your face such a beautiful highlighted look. Um, especially now, a lot of people are using it because they discovered it gives such a great highlighted under eye look. Um, I've been using it for years though, like ever since um, Erin from Scandalous Beauty was talking about this several years ago. I've been on it and it's totally must have. I, I don't even have the big container. I have like the smaller one. And I just separate into little ones. One for me, one for my kit. It's just great and so cheap. Um, a more recent find. Those are kind of products I've been using for like years. A more recent find that I love are these Wet n Wild blushes. The Color Icon blushes in Mellow Wine and Heather Silk. I heard a lot of people talking about these. I, t I tried to get, I decided to get them because they're so cheap. Wow. Awesome quality blushes. The colors are really rich and pigmented. They show up so well. You almost have to be a little careful because you can get carried away with them. But they will show up on light to dark skin tones. Like so nice. Um, I just think these are like such a steal. They're worth checking out. Um, speaking of blush, I got this um, Sonia Kashuk blush brush, the one with the black swirly handle. I had a Sonia Kashuk brush haul on my blog maybe about a couple weeks ago. And a lot of times I'll mention things on my blog when I'm on my YouTube because I do post on my blog five times a week. So if you um, if you want to see more stuff, go to my blog because I definitely post more often on there and a lot of good stuff. So. This is um, really cool. This brush is a lot like the MAC 109 or the Sonia Cat, or this is the um, Sedona Lace version, but it's thicker and a little bit bigger and softer and it doesn't shed as much. This brush is just so awesome. It's so soft, it's dense. It really is a good tool for blending and product, especially if you wanna do some blush and really just like buff it in or you wanna do contour, you can use it for like powder foundation such a good brush to have. I really, really, really like it. So I definitely recommend checking this out at your local Target. This blush is really nice. It's, um, again, from Europe, along with the other bourgeois eyeshadow. This is um, the blush in 33 Lila Dor. And it's a really pretty pinky, pinky, um, like with a gold shimmer in it. And you can see it in here, this into mineralized blush. I like using it with a brush like this because it is on the, it's kind of like a little bit lighter. But when I apply it with a like a dense brush, I can see it more. And it's just so pretty. You don't need a highlight with this because it's shimmery. But it's just really pretty. I'm really glad I got it. Okay, moving on. Okay, so this is, um, let's move on and finish the face. Ben Nye Neutralizer Cream Crayon in Medium Slash Tattoo Cover. Is this, it, I mean, you've been using this for years. Again, it's under HG. This is my go-to under eye corrector. I don't use it in my kit, I just use it on me. Um, I just love the color and the consistency. I love it because it's so quick and easy. You just draw it on, blend it out, and the consistency is a little drier than some of the other cream air concealers. And to me, it, that means like it actually doesn't crease as much. I just love it. Like it's, it's so, so good. Like HG, really affordable, really easy to use, and it lasts a long time. 
On top of the corrector, again, you've seen this in so many of my recent tutorials, I use Yves Saint Laurent um, Touche Eclat in number two. I've, I've mentioned this in another favorites video, but it's worth mentioning again. Um, it's just the product, it's an expensive product, first of all. So the product blends into your skin so good, like seamlessly. And that's why you can tell it's an expensive product, just because the way it disappears into your skin. And this shade is uh, probably too light for me, but it makes the ama most amazing highlighter. I love it. I will definitely spend the money to repurchase this when I'm out. Okay, so I'm almost done, guys. Okay, so this is the Ola La Liner from um, Fleek in the shade Melba. Waterproof and smudge proof. And I got this in Europe. And I love it. It's like such a pretty peachy coral um, shade. Really pigmented. Look at that. Super soft. It's like, the thing about it, it's creamy, but it's kind of dry in, in that sense. Like it goes on really smooth, but then it like really sticks to your lips. I, I use it as a lip liner. And it's just the most gorgeous shade. And the way I apply it is I'll apply a little bit to like the center of my lip and then just like blend it out and then put like a brown liner. And it gives me the perfect peachy lip and it really knocks out any other color that if you have like discoloration, like a darker lip. It's a really great product, and I kind of want to get more of these Olala liners because I've been really impressed. Okay. Whew. Okay, so that's it for favorites. It's really long because I had the last four months worth of products. And a lot of these products, HG products, that I will use forever. So, I have two products here, and these made the um, not-so-favorites list. And I... I, um, I've been trying to do that more because I don't always show you what I don't like, and these um, I don't like. So I got this pencil from Sleek, the Coal Eyeliner in Sheer Marine. I got this when I was in Europe. I was really excited because it's such a pretty um, color. It's like, a, it's like a, a shimmery, very pale sea green. I was like, oh my god, so excited. I can use this on my waterline. It's going to be really pretty. It's way too dry. I cannot put this on my waterline. It hurts. Um, if, it was, if it was creamy like their Ola La Liner, maybe, but it's too dry. Like, I can put it on my hand because it's fine, but trying to put it on my waterline, mm -mm. I don't know if it was because um, when I got it, I could tell it was open dirt right. I don't know if that's it, but I'm really disappointed in it. I'm going to try and make it work, but I'm not really a big fan of that Cold Liner series. This is an interesting not so favorite because at first it was going to make the favorites list. And it's these Anastasia. This is the Hydrofull Gloss. This one is an Aris. I have two. These came in a kit I, was, I reviewed a couple months ago along with that eyeshadow duo. And I was like, this is so great because check out this applicator. Applicator is super awesome, right? It's like a flat little spatula, like a plastic. Super good for makeup artists who want to scoop it out and put it on a palette because it's really hard to get product off of a lip gloss wand onto a palette. If you're a makeup artist, you'll, you know that. So um, I was like really excited about it and the color is gorgeous, right? So they had all those good things going on for them. So I was like lo in love with them and they have another one which is like a coral color. I have them around here somewhere. The reason why I didn't make my favorites list is because every single time I wore this gloss, it will be like falling off my lips. Like it would, I'd put enough to make it pigmented and then it would literally bleed outside my lips. And this n never happened for me, ever. And it will be all like embarrassing because the lip gloss would like fall. It's almost maybe like too liquidy. I don't know what it is, but every time I wore it, I look like I was like smashing my lips all crazy. So unfortunately, that was a big disappointment. I think the only way you could really make this work is if maybe you just put it like a little bit on. And if you put just a little bit on, you don't get the color payoff. So, eh, sorry, not so great. So, that is my list of favorites and not so favorites for the summer. Sorry it's such a long video. I had a lot to cover. I hope it helps some of you guys. I will have pictures as, as usual on my blog, makeupbyredrun.com. If you're interested in any of these products, let me know. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. So yeah, hopefully I'll be back to more regular favorites. I can finally put these products away. I hope you guys enjoy, and until next time, have a great night.